Well, one of the first things about these electric scooters is on the Xiaomi M365 Pro, the handlebars are actually wider. Whereas on the Bogus, they are actually a little bit more narrow. From a stability standpoint, the Xiaomi M365 Pro is definitely a little bit better on the width of the handlebars and the general comfort of the grips because the grips, like I explained in the initial unboxing on the Bogus, the grips are actually quite hard on them compared to the nice soft grips that you get on the Xiaomi. A very important point is the stems on electric scooters. So many of them give issues and the show me definitely it's very disappointing that it is still not addressed on all of the show me range they give creaking they give wobbling they loosen you sometimes have to put dampers in i've done videos already on this and i ended up installing the x lock which didn't take too long but is another financial investment that you need to make if you end up getting a show me plus there is general maintenance for the creaking that you will have to address again done videos on that the stem on the Bogus, however, is absolutely brilliant. I can't stress how enough, how solid and built this truly is. I've been on really bad roads recently with this, going to and from work on a daily basis, which is around a 24 kilometer trip, and it has not given me any creaking. It is rock solid. From a standpoint of view, the Bogus definitely has the upper hand. One thing to point out is the Xiaomi is actually a little bit higher up off the ground, which makes it a little bit better for going over bumps and kind of going off a curb. So you avoid scraping underneath on the Xiaomi, whereas on the Bogus, it's actually a good bit lower. And I have hit it off, you know, a curb and a few bumps here and there. It hasn't caused any major damage underneath, but it's definitely something to note. You know, I think the Xiaomi definitely wins in that case from the height of the deck itself. Now, the folding on these electric scooters, the Bogus C1 Pro, comparing to the Xiaomi, when you do fold the Bogus, the front part of the deck there hits the ground, which is where is actually where a few of these screws are. So, of course, you could damage the screws as well. So, I think that should have been done a little bit better whereas on the show me it definitely folds a little bit more better by the way i'm going to give my overall verdict my own personal opinion at the end of this video which one of these electric scooters should you consider buying if that is the case now let's address the elephant in the room with the show me you get no suspension at all nothing you don't get front you don't get rear nothing you it's so uncomfortable when you don't have suspension on the bogus. This is where the bogus really starts to come in from an entry level standpoint. You have front suspension and you have rear suspension and I'm telling you now, it makes a absolutely massive difference. So I've already done videos on the Xiaomi, put the front suspension on and it is quite a detailed video, but anybody can do it. So if you end up buying the Xiaomi, do go and have a look at that video and all the other maintenance and upgrade videos I've done on this scooter. Another thing where the Bogus comes in once again, it comes with hybrid tires, 10 inch by three inch hybrid tires. I'm telling you now, they are absolutely brilliant. But on the Xiaomi, you have 8.5 inch pneumatic tires. The problem with them is they are not that stable on wet ground. They are definitely a bit more harder to change with punctures. I would love to see the Xiaomi range itself, the next range of scooters that they bring out to definitely have maybe 10 inch pneumatic tires, maybe 10 inch by two and a half inch to make the ride a little bit more comfortable and to make punctures easier to change. Now the brakes, the brakes on the Bogus, you get a front drum brake, you get a rear disc brake. You also have an electronic brake as well on the rear motor. On the Xiaomi, you literally only have a rear disc brake and you have an electronic brake on the front motor. To have that front brake there, the front drum brake as well, is actually quite good and it's very it's extremely easy to adjust the brakes are definitely much better on the bogus so far the bogus is in my opinion crushing the show me which is you know a bit disappointing to say because i've i still love my show me and i still plan on doing a good couple of upgrades to it there is just one thing i want to point out the deck that i have on the show me m365 pro is a customized deck so the original deck itself is a little bit more narrow whereas the deck on the bogus is a little bit more wider so the deck space on the bogus is a little bit better to put both of your feet side by side the deck on the show me is actually a tiny bit longer 
I guess that they kind of cancel each other out in a way, so there's not much of an argument there. You do have a small footrest on the bogus that you can rest on it. I'm going to get to why that footrest is actually very important now in a second. The speed. The speed is totally different. The speed on the Xiaomi from factory is 25 kilometers. I have unlocked mine, which I've done videos on already, hill testing it before and after. Have a look at them if you want. But you can unlock them quite easily and you can get a 32 kilometer speed with the stock controller the stock battery it's quite easy to do and I'm gonna to get to why a why the show me is definitely quite important when it comes to doing more modifications I'll get to that towards the end of the video factory speed on the bogus is totally different 45 km per hour top speed you can see here in the video it was GPS tested so it is absolutely true and you have the three different modes on both of them you have uh, low speed medium speed and high speed from a speed standpoint not to have to go to you know unlocking things upgrading the controllers upgrading the batteries you don't need to do that on the bogus because you have that 45 km hour top speed plus you have the 500 watt motor compared to the 300 watt motor on the show me here that's another thing to consider if you're after speed of course always wear your safety gear now the ip54 rating on the show me i i think it's like a 54 which is the industry standard which means it's splash resistant i definitely would not be bringing this through puddles or anything like that at all this is where the bogus is destroying the show me is an ip64 rating which means it's quite good in really bad weather and really bad rain again you wouldn't be bringing this through puddles or anything like that i've had it out in the rain coming to and from work and it hasn't given me an issue at all of course you can do some sealing you can put some gorilla tape which is quite common you can also use a silicone sealant around the bottom of the decks to help protect it but again you know these things are never i don't know if it's going to be hold up long term in the rain you have manufacturers claiming it's a certain ip rating but as time goes on will rust start to eat away at the controller at the batteries at the decks at the screws who knows time will tell so i'm going to be really testing this as much as possible so from the ip rating the bogus definitely wins in that case now the claimed range on these electric scooters is actually identical it's a 45 kilometer claimed range of course that is in perfect conditions a person that is really light around maybe 70 kilos and with no wind against them i can say that i have tested the show me already with a 17 kilometer range when i got home i had about a 40 percent battery that's gone full speed most of the way and that is also facing hills i can also say the exact same range i actually seem to be getting on the bogus considering is a stronger motor it has a higher top speed i'm left with i'm guessing around a 40 percent maybe 30 percent battery on this coming home which is again 17 kilometers the range on both of them is quite similar there's nothing really of a difference there Another thing to say, the price on both of these is more or less identical. You can get the bogus, by the way, that's linked below if you want to go and have a look at the current prices. But it's around 580 euros, give or take. And the Xiaomi M365 Pro, which is what I have here, which are kind of hard to get now, but you can get the Pro 2, which is basically more or less identical to this one. You can get that for around the same price of around 550 to 600 euros. Again, I think the bogus definitely comes in on this as the winner. The reason why is because because it's the same price as the show me but you're getting so many more features with the bogus one thing that needs to be talked about i guess is the quality control of these because the bogus is such a new scooter it's kind of hard to say what the components are like inside are they gonna hold up are they easy to replace difficult to get parts the show me definitely easier to get parts all the accessories all the upgrades so i think the show me definitely wins if you are if you ever needed parts in the future and that type of thing so the bogus currently because it's only new i can't really comment on that the show me would definitely be the winner if you are handy if you like to upgrade things if you like to swap out things and stuff like that for parts wise so the show me definitely wins there this brings me on to the next one the show me whole range itself there is a bunch of groups out there 
on Facebook. I have a group myself for all electric scooters that's linked below, but there, the community of the Show Me itself is absolutely gigantic. Again, for support, for help, for tips, everything else in between, it's definitely the winner as far as from a community standpoint, from getting help from other people. The bogus, there's no communities out there. I had a look, there's nothing out there at all. So it loses from that, you know, from that feedback, from that help, if you ever need help with the scooter itself. But what is my overall verdict? To be honest, if you love to upgrade things, if you like to add things yourself and learn about scooters, about how they work and stuff like that, the Show Me definitely is one to consider. You can add the front suspension like what I done. You can reinforce the stem yourself. You can add rear suspension. You can unlock the speed. You can upgrade the controllers. You can add external batteries. The Bogus, like what I said already on the full review, it's an all-in-one scooter. It has literally everything you need. You don't need to touch it at all. If it was me personally choosing a electric scooter again and if the bogus was out the same time as the show me m365 pro i probably would have in my opinion chosen the bogus c1 pro because you don't have to do anything to it but in saying that when i got the show me it has learned me so much about how electric scooters work it's really up to you if you would like to choose the show me or the bogus it's you know it's a really tough one to say i love both of these electric scooters they both have their pros they both have their cons show me is a bit more lighter the bogus is a tiny bit more heavier to be honest the bogus is pretty cool and it's very very comfortable on your feet and on your back at going them high speeds because you can rest your foot on the rear foot rest so if you have enjoyed this detailed comparison i tried my best to do this video as easy as possible to help compare both of these models do give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe if you love electric scooters in the meantime click on the videos that are showing up on screen right now and i'll talk to you in the next video